Okay, first of all, you're a genius. Like, this whole thing <laughs> is a genius. Like, how did you come up with just getting people on your show, watching celebrities just be like, ah! Yeah. Like, burn their mouth. How do they agree to that? I love it. Well, uh, the real genius is my partner in all this, Chris Schoenberger, and uh, he runs First We Feast, and he came up to me and was like, you know, I have this idea. What if we were interviewing celebrities, but eating increasingly spicy, like, violently hot chicken wings? <laughs> <laughs> while the interview was going on, and the way it hit my ear, it was just like so funny to me that I'm like, all right, let's get in a room Sounds and bang like a... this whole thing out, shoot a pilot, and go. That's amazing. <laughs> Who are like some of your most memorable ones? Well, there are, are a lot. You know, we've done almost 200 episodes at wow. this point, believe it or not. Wow. But uh, if I were to try to get somebody into the show, it's like if you watch the Paul Rudd episode or like the Gordon Ramsay or Charlize Theron, Scarlett Johansson. It's crazy. Uh, if you like those episodes, you'll probably like the show. So those are the ones I recommend. Wait, so has anyone just ever just like passed out, vomited, run to the bathroom, yeah. like any of these check, things? Check, yeah, we have like a whole uh, royal flush, like a whole tic-tac-toe game that we could play. Oh my god, it's like who's gonna make it or what's gonna happen yeah. with them? I always think like our first studio was in kind of this office building and uh, around the studio would just be people like on computers, answering phones, you know, returning emails, and then like, <laughs> very famous people would just come like barreling out of the door. Like, where's the restroom? Where's the restroom? And I always thought it would be like funny that they must be like, what do they do in that room? Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. They're like, nobody come in here. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. Do you know anybody that's done this show? Uh, I know, I mean, I know Charlize. Yes. I haven't seen her episode though. I'm going to have to check that one out. Classic episode. Very, oh my God. I mean, like you have a couple of Oscar winners in there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Oh so why do you think do you think celebs going because they feel challenged, like they're gonna conquer it? Well, I think it I is. I mean, that might be what I'm thinking today. <laughs> but, you know, you probably are in that same mindset where it's like, I think if you watch it, there is part of you that wonders, could I handle that? Or yes. how, would I, how would I handle that spice? So I think there are people that, you know, they're curious about it. But I think the thing is that we really try to extend for our guests, meet them halfway with like a very thoughtful, career-spanning interview. Like, yeah. we want it to be the most, <laughs> yeah. the most comfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable interview is what we really try to yeah. do. So I you're think there's a part off. of you. Yeah. 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 It's hard to keep a wall up when you're like, <laughs> yeah. 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 And I think there is something about it that interrupts the formality of it all. You know, yeah. like if you're doing anything, like even if you're trying to like, balance books in your hand. Like maybe there is something about that that takes your mind off of the sort of interview into a realer place. Yes. So you're turning Hot Ones into a game show which is brilliant. Like it's the most brilliant move. Um, how, and that one lady on that clip legit ate a wing like a giraffe eats. Like she put it in and it came out just a bone. I was so impressed. And right. she's skinny. I'm like, all right. I wouldn't have thought that was going to happen. But I mean, is that, what is the game show like? Well, I think that if uh, I were to try to connect the two, because they are very different shows. You know, yeah. one's like a classic interview show over spicy wings, the other classic game show over spicy wings. But the way that I think about it is the appeal of the interview show is it takes celebrity, you know, this thing that's inherently by definition, some sort of like unobtainable lifestyle status. And then it takes that person down to a level that everyone understands, <laughs> yes. which is dying on hot sauce. That's so true. And then the game show takes that person, the person watching, and exalts them into a hero status because they can conquer the wings and then make it to the top of this game show, win $25,000. So that's where I think yes. that's where I think they connect, but otherwise, like, totally different shows. Have you ever done vibes. a thing like where, and you folks at home can play along, too. Oh, yeah. here, are the, here are the hot peppers or spices we're going to be I think yeah. you today. just got a good tip no, for your was, show. That was. If, you know, if you can help, if you can help us producer. thread that needle. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.